I don't want to see Bronny play with his dad. I really don't. I went through something similar. Mm. It was a very sim similar situation, but also different. I was already in the NBA when I went to go play for him. What happens is a lot of people start to discredit everything that you've done. This kid has been in the limelight since he was born. First day on Instagram, he had a million followers. He's handled it so well. He's played well at Sierra Canyon amongst talent and was able to get himself to a school like USC. Right now, his numbers don't scream pro. So if he is to go in the draft or if he gets picked, it'd be great to get picked up by a contending team that could help him put him in a situation because he does have talent. He does have uh, basketball IQ. He yeah. has potential. Him going and play with his dad at this point in his career, just because Bronny's success isn't at a top tier level. Right. Him getting drafted and playing with his dad, it just, I don't want that negativity to come his way because he doesn't deserve it. He's not a, a, a top 10 pick. He's not a lottery pick. He's, he's none of those things. I want to hear about this. Now, before some who are watching this begin to physically assault the keys on their keyboard, this isn't about any wrongdoing on LeBron's part, but rather the wrongdoing and disservice the media will put Bronny through, as well as the ramifications of being a famous parent and having kids and forever having that kid be subjected to living a life in the shadow of you, whether you want them to or not. Bronny isn't going to be in LeBron's shadow. He's going to be his own player. LeBron is going to stop it. His legal name is LeBron. Look at all these people in line to watch him. You would have thought they were trying to get a PS5. They are there to watch LeBron's son play basketball. And as an added bonus, they're treated to LeBron watching LeBron play basketball. Leception. 99% of a percent of the time when a famous person has a kid, that kid is going to live their lives boxed in and marginalized. And before some of you say, oh, well, he's a millionaire. He's got this and that. His life is set before it even starts. No, 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 no. Think about this for a minute. Everything you aspire to do and achieve on this blue orb will be attributed in large part to your parents and any accomplishments you achieve will be glossed over. If you are a genius and you want to attend Harvard, you only get in because you look blind shit. If you're hanging out in a party, enjoying yourself, meeting a lot of different people, you get multiple girls' numbers, you only get those girls' numbers because you look blind shit. And so on and so forth. But the second you fail, the second you come up short, you hear, you got eliminated the first round of the playoffs. The brand did get eliminated the first round of the playoffs until year 70. Imagine being eliminated the first round of the playoffs and you're LeBron's son, LOL. Then you add in the followers, the expectation due to no fault of your own, but who it was that brought you into this world. That's a lot for somebody who's growing up to have to deal with, who's trying to find their way in the world. It's bad enough when the parent is famous for doing one thing and you do something totally opposite, completely different career path, which we've seen a lot of people do, which I do not blame them. I'm not saying it's always a distinctive choice in one's head. He was this, so I'm not going to be that. People develop their own wants and desires as they continue to grow up. But you know that's in the back of their head sometimes. It lies within their subconscious. But when you do the exact same career as them, it's a whole nother ball game of bad for you and carving out your own place on this earth. Because every time you go up for a dunk, you hear, Here we go, Bronny for liftoff! Like father, like son! Perk, what do you think? Side by side here. Oh, that looks familiar. Years after his dad won this contest in Cleveland. Remember who you are. You are my son. The one true king. I don't want to hear that shit. Now, whether or not Bronny harbors some of these feelings is anyone's guess, and it's nobody's business really, but sooner or later that stuff begins to take a toll, which is how some resentment will sometimes grow towards the parent. And it only comes as a byproduct to them trying to figure out who the hell they are and what it is they want to do with their life. I mean, look at Jordan's kids. Marcus Jordan had to drop 60 on Larsa Pippen in order to give these people something else to talk about other than the apple fell so far away from the tree. He didn't play basketball. He wasn't good. He was a burnout. You even got T.I.'s kid trying to fight him saying he's standing on business when he was standing on a lemonade stand and got folded online. And then you got Jaden Smith and you know that... That goes without saying. Can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now? No. These are problems a lot of people in these situations have when they're growing up with famous parents and simply invalidating it just because they have their life made for them. They're rich. They've got everything they could possibly want is, in my opinion, a failure to listen as well as a failure to see them as the people they are. You don't have to feel sorry for them, 
but you should at least try to understand them because you yourself would want to be understood in these situations. I agree very heavily with what Austin Rivers said, and there will also be those that say, you were a bum, you're a bust. Who are you to compare yourself to? LeB but that's not what he's trying to do. He's simply trying to shed some light on the father and son dynamic as it pertains to being famous and how it can potentially stunt the growth of the son in question. I remember a minute ago, more than a minute, actually 60 minutes, like the show, when LeBron mentioned he wanted to play with his son. And I saw that as something that would be monumental in just sports. That's a milestone. You rarely, if ever, have seen that. And if I was LeBron, I could definitely understand wanting to keep myself in best physical shape as possible in order to bring that dream into fruition. But when he said play with, I just assumed, well, you're going to be playing against him. But in recent years, he's made it more clear that wherever Bronny goes, he'd be willing to go as well. What? Why would you do this? For starters, that invites the possibility that Bronny were to get drafted by Detroit, LeBron would come here too. He is not coming to Detroit. I would not wish that on most dogs, most of them. I don't like pit bulls. And if you get the both of them and you're a GM in charge of a team, that's two roster spots for LeBron. And you can't use Bronny as a trade asset because I'm pretty sure LeBron wouldn't let that happen. It would have to be a team that doesn't really expect to be anywhere within the next few years, maybe the Wizards. Because if he gets drafted to an organization that has a plan in place to be here in X amount of years, this is somewhat of a disruption to that. People are going to say, why don't you put LeBron and Bronny on the court at the same time? Why don't you do this and that? And then you're just sitting there like, bro, I've got plans like i've i'm trying to do shit i'm trying to build for the future i don't have time for this yeah it may sell out tickets and all that but what about your other players their growth gets stunted and if your team does good the both of them will get most of the credit and then you got to deal with father and son post game conference do we have time for that i mean if it were me personally on the team it would be very irritating. It would be very annoying. And then what happens if another player tries Bronny? Is LeBron go come over there again between them and be like, don't make me call your parents now. Like, I, I don't, I, this is a complex situation, potentially hazardous, very heartwarming though, and very intriguing. I do look forward to seeing this, but in my humble opinion, I don't think it would be wise for Bronny to be on the same team as LeBron because it's just, it's more trouble than what it's worth in my opinion, as it pertains to him individually and where he wants his career to be. And I definitely don't want the media to set him up to fail like they do with so many other players that if you don't rise to the occasion and you're anything but spectacular, you're a bust. So tell me what you guys think about this situation. And do any of you have experience with this sort of thing? Maybe family member is well known in a town or a specific area or city and then you come into the fold and everybody has high expectations of you do share your thoughts below if you care to thank you so much for watching and i shall see you on the next one